Yo, what's going on guys? It's Generous here today, and today I'm going to show you five different tips and tricks on how to improve building using chains, okay? But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button down below whenever you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button because I'm coming on the road to 3k subs, and hit that subscribe button and help massively. But anyway, let's go on to the first tip. Our first design we're going to go with is we're going to build like this flower pot design, okay? So what I've done here is I placed two polishes on the side there, a spruce button there on the front, spruce button on the back. Then we're we'll gonna surround the bottom bits into spruce shop doors, just like so. There we go. Then we're gonna do is we're gonna put a stone wall here, or a stone brick wall here, and then a cobblestone wall, then two stone brick walls, just like so. On one side, on the top right here, we're gonna put a spruce fence gate there, and a spruce fence gate there, just like so. Then against these, a spruce uh, fence, and then this, a spruce fence on the opposite side. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna place one chain there, just like open up, one chain there, just like so, one chain here. Then go down one, two, just like so. And then this side, down one, two, just like so. And then what you're gonna do is surround these dates in the spruce chop doors, just like so. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Let's come down here, place one underneath there, just like so. And then what we can do is get rid of these, just like so. All I have to do now is place a berry bush and just make sure it's fully growing. There we go. And you've got like this nice little hanging flower pot design using the new chains. Right, our second design is what we're going to do is we're going to build a swing, okay? So if we're going to do this, we're going to do a stone brick wall there, then three spruce fences there, then a stone brick wall again up here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to leave a gap of five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on the sixth one there, do the exact same thing. So one, one, two, three, then a one there. Then we're going to place a spruce chop door just on like that. And then we're going to work our way inwards to with a spruce chop door, then a slab, then a spruce chop door, then a slab just like so. It doesn't really matter which way they're facing, but I'm going to try and make it the same way if I can. There we go, just like so. So I'm trying to keep the same pattern. Look how that's it. There we go. And change this on there, just like so. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, then after this, what we're going to do is place a spruce fence here and here. And then spruce trap doors in between, just like so. Then chains coming down two on either one of the spruce fences. There we go. Then an iron bar here. An iron bar here, okay. Then on the inside here, we're going to place a spruce fence. Oh, sorry, a spruce trap door there. Extra like so. Same this side, spruce trap door there. Then we're just going to place some temporary ones there for now. Place underneath here, spruce trap door, just like so. Place one temporary one there, just like so. There we go. Shift click there, shift click there. Then shift click that one that we played temporary. There we go. And then fill them up. And there you go. You've, got, you've now got this nice little swing using the chains. The third design is we're gonna make what is what like what I see these as being sea mines, and I think these honestly look really cool as sea mines. All it is is some chains there, and then the new lodestone on top of it. Obviously, you can do this on whatever height you want. So I might do a three there, then I might do a four, and I might just do a two here. You can literally mix and match these. So any underwater build, and you want to build like a big submarine, these would look really cool as sea mines. The fourth design we're going to go with is we're going to build a street light, okay? So, we're going to place a cobblestone wall there. Then we're going to go four up with spruce fences. Then a cobblestone wall again. Then two spruce trap doors, just like so. Oh, no, not there. There we go. After that, we're going to place a grindstone underneath that. Then the chain, and then whatever lantern you want. You can have either, obviously, the, the old one, or you can have the new one, just like so. I'm obviously going to have the old one. But anyway, that is the street lamp done and dusted. Our fifth design is going to be a hanging table. Imagine obviously this spruce up there is at the roof, just like so. Obviously, I'm going to place four chains all coming down on each side. There we go. One, two, three. Oh, there you go. Four and one, two, three, four, just like so. Then I'm going to place some temi blocks there for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place the upper half spruce trap doors going right across, just like so. There we go. Get ready to use. And it's literally completely up to you. So I might add this here, that there, there, and there. This could be like a seating section. There we go. Chuck you there, and then chuck you there. And then obviously just adjust all these rounds. There we go. Just, just like so. And that there is a hanging table done and dusted. If you guys have enjoyed this and you want to see more content like this on the channel, make sure you do subscribe again because I'm on the road to 3K subs. So obviously hit that subscribe button and help. And if you haven't already, smash the like button because that really helps the video out. But anyway, I'll catch you guys in my next episode. See ya.